Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In the previous video, we have learned about the jasmine spice. So why we need to use this jasmine spice and what are the useful use, use cases for the jasmine spice also we have seen. And also we have learned about the stage doubles also. So why we call it as what is stage doubles and how we call it as in jasmine as spice because uh, rather than stage doubles. And also we have also learned the special spy matches that are exclusively available for the jasmine spice. That is uh, what I can say to have been called, to have been called times, to have been called with. These are the matches we have learned. So now in this video, we will see the practical implementation, how we can use this Jasmine Spice in our application. So this is our main dot uh, spec file. In this spec file, how we can use this Jasmine Spice. Let's try to see. Now this is the test suite. So this describe mentions that this is a test suite for the main dot JS file. Okay, we are able to see it. And here we have seen this uh, main file. So this is actually this is not a main file. So the suit it is for the calculate. So here we need to write the calculate instead of main. Okay. So this is the suit for calculate method. And this is the suit for the update result method. So here we are having a function calculate and here is a function update result. And here we are able to see calculate and update result suit. Now we have written the logic for this update uh, the spec file for this update result. Now let's try to so cover write this spec for the first one validate expression so validate expression if you try to see this calculate function okay this is the method so we are trying to write the unit testing now if you try to see each one so it is taking the event value so that means event so that means what, what i can say is for example if i try to write here if i try to see so whatever the thing we are writing 3 plus 4 so it is 7 so whenever you are writing 5 plus 6 it will be something like 11 so now if I try to do a plus 3, now it is telling that expression is not recognized. So where from where it is coming, it is coming through here. So is nan of number a. So first time number is nan. Why? Because it was alphabet a, right? So for that reason, you are it is going into the update result expression not recognized. So this is the first dependency for this calculate. Okay. So for this calculate function, update result is the first dependency. So here if you try to see when you are trying to call this calculate it will return nothing if you are able to see up to bottom it will return nothing so it is not returning anything so it now what we cannot do the uh, ret, with, without any return value we cannot expect the behavior so expect of something dot to be of five we cannot write like that why because it this function is not returning anything so why because so this is these are having the dependencies so now we need to check this one dependencies right so now if you try to see validates the expression so if you try to see this validates expression so if any time this expression is failed means then this update result will be called okay now we need to check that whether this update result is called or not so let's try to see it so now if you go to this one here validates expression okay if the number is invalid okay so if the number is invalid so it will validate the expression right so let's try to write the body so it is a function okay now what i can do is so now what we need to do is so first we need to spy on this update result so we need to check that whether this update result the external dependency method it is called or not we need to check it so now what i can do is so first i will spy on the update result method okay now we can use the method spy on method okay so jasmine has a method spy on so we need to spy on the method update results spy on okay so first one we need to give we in which object this one is present so this method is present in which object so this one is present in the window so as this one is a global function so this is present in the window and the next one what i can say is the next one is the function the method name so which one i need to spy on so here i need to spy on the update result okay so this is the method name and where whenever you spy on this uh, update result now what the jasmine will try to do is instead of calling this function so now it will not call this function so it will spy on this function and what we can do is so if you want to tell it explicitly means you can do dot and dot stub you can use this dot stub stub means so and stub means what it will try to do is so whenever you are calling this in this spec, whenever, whenever it is trying to call this update result method, 
okay so it will not call that update result method just it will make a spy so instead of calling it will pretend that you have called it so it will not do anything with the function and it will not return anything and it will not touch that update result method so just it will make a spy on that update result method so without any error so when you call this update result method so it will not call this actual real update result method it will not call this update result method this method will not be called so it will pretend that it has been called okay so and stub means don't go to that function don't do that function just tell that it has been called so don't take the values if that is written from the update result so don't take it don't do anything so just spy on that one so who has called this one which one has called like that only spy on that one so this update result we are spying on now this is the first line okay now what i can to do so now if you try to see calculate of a plus 3 for example if you try to see here in this simple calculator now if you try to see a plus 3 okay a plus 3 so now it has been called ex expression has not recognized so now when you are writing this a plus 3 so this one is So now this one is expression not recognized, right? So now let's try to call this one. So now we can do calculate of, okay, a plus 3. So we are trying to write here calculate of a plus 3. Now what this calculate of a plus 3 will try to do, here it will go to the main.js, it will take this, it will call this calculate function and here it will call this update result. Why? Because the first number is, is not recognized. So that one is an alphabet, it is not a number. So it will try to call this update result, but we have made a spy on this window result, update result. So when we have made this spy on this update result, so now this calculate, this spec will not call that update, original update result. So it will make a note on that one. So it will not do anything. It will not call that update result. It will not return anything. So nothing will be done. So just you can, says it will pretend that it has been called. Now the next thing what you want to do is, so now you want to know whether this calculate of a plus 3 has been called this update result or not, you may not, you need to make sure, right? So you need to make sure that update result method has been called or not, you need to make sure. So how can you do that one? So that in this place, so now you need to, uh, the, now you know you will get the uh, help of special spy matches, those are nothing but to have been called these methods will come into picture. So now if you go and if you try to write expect of calculate like this, uh, if you try to do a plus 3, so you cannot write dot to be something like this, you cannot write it, dot to be of 5 if you don't write. So this calculator of a plus 3 does return nothing. So here it will call this update result function, that's it finished. So uh, anywhere if you try to see this calculate function, it will not return anything. So there is no need of writing. So there is no meaning of writing this expect functionality. So if something function is returning means then you can do this matches and you can check it. But here in this scenario, so in this main.js file, so the we cannot use this to be a file. So here the spy matches will be, will come into a picture. So this is how we can, this is the first thing what I want to tell you is, this is how you will be writing, you will be spying on the function. So if you want to write the spy, if you want to create a spy on the function means existing function means. So this is how we'll create a spy in the Jasmine. So hope you understood about this one, how to create a spy on the function. So in the next video, what we'll try to do is we'll try to write the special spy matcher and we'll check that whether the update result has been called successfully or not. Let's try to see in the next video. Hope you understood about this Jasmine spy spying on. So if you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.